I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore some applications of quadratic function. Now these are very basic applications which will really help you to understand the whole concept. We have given you the equations and we have to read and interpret the data uh, most of the time. The question here is, a diver dives into a pool from the edge. His depth d meters after t seconds can be modeled using equation d equals to 3 times t minus 2 whole square minus 12. What is the lowest depth that the diver reaches? When does he achieve this depth, right? Now, given this equation, d is 3 times t minus 2 whole square minus 12, it's in vertex form, so we know it opens upward like this, kind of, let's say, and that's the lowest point and you can read the coordinates. The coordinates for the lowest point are 2 minus 12 units. D is in meters, so that is in meters and time is in seconds. Is it okay? Now let us answer the question. So that is this point. From the equation, we are just reading it, okay? What is the lowest depth that the diver reaches? So the depth is the y value, the d value. So the lowest depth is, so we have lowest depth equals to minus 12, right? Minus 12 meters. Minus indicates going down, okay? Now, when does he achieve this depth? When? After 2 seconds. That is when. After 2 seconds. That is how. We have to interpret the vertex as the depth in this case, okay? Lowest depth. Now, part B is, at what time does the diver resurfaces? When we say resurfaces, what does it mean? It really means that the depth is zero. So that is resurfaces. Do you get the point? So, so the idea here is that this depth from here to here is 12. And that is resurfaces. That means when depth is zero. So basically now we need to solve this equation for depth d equals to zero. So we can write on the equation which is 3 times t minus 2 whole square minus 12 and solve for t when depth is zero. You get the point? So we'll bring 12 to this side. We get 12 equals to 3 times t minus 2 whole square divide by 3. So we get 12 over 3 equals to t minus 2 whole square. 12 divided by 3 is 4, correct? Let me take it to the right side and use this part. So what we have here is t minus 2 whole square is equal to 12 divided by 3, which is 4. Now we should square root it. So we get t minus 2. Once you square root square, you get t minus 2. On the right side, when you square root 4, you have to write plus and minus, right? Since minus 2 square is also equal to 4, right? Now, important, minus 2 square is 4, correct? And 2 square is also 4. That is why. Let me put this also in brackets now. So there are two possibilities, which is plus and minus 2, correct? So what is t equals to? So t equals to, we'll bring this 2 on that side. So it is 2 plus and minus 2. You got the point? Now, so that means you get two values. One is with plus, the other one is with minus. So we'll write 2 plus 2, which is 4, and then we have 2 minus 2, which is, oh sorry, which is 0. So when does it resurface? When does he resurface? It really means that the starting point when t is 0, at that time, diver dives. Do you see that? And then goes down and comes up at after 4 seconds. Great. So this is 4 for us. So the answer is, after four seconds do you get the point so it's a very important and tricky question go through it once again try to understand the application so the model here represents the dive the depth of the diver with time in seconds so the lowest point or the maximum depth occurs after two seconds right and the depth is 12 meters. Actually, when I write lowest depth, I should write 12 meters. That minus does not have a significance.
meters. I should write 12 meters is the lowest depth. Let me write down this answer as lowest depth is 12 meters, correct? When we say depth, it means negative. That is the reason. After two seconds, and then the diver comes up, it takes another two seconds. That means after four seconds total, that is the time when the diver resurfaces, right? So for four seconds, diver is underwater. That is another way of looking into the same equation. So try to understand these examples. They could be put in your test in a different way. So that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. I hope it really helps you. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.